do you believe that nobody on nobody else on the earth except for the people you see standing around you right now has a God? Bring it on. You don't believe it? You think they got gods? You think they, they got they got a God? We're gonna find out if they got a God or not. Bring it on! Find out what this Bible says. But we're gonna show you first that the most high God, great of heaven and earth, he's the God of only the Israelites. Read. Joel chapter 2, verse 27. Come on, bring it out. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. So the Bible says, God says that ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. Who, who is Israel? Us. Blacks, right. Hispanics, and the Native Indians. Right. Those are the Israelites. He right. says what? And, and ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Come on. And that I. And that the Lord God of the maker of heaven and earth. And the Lord your God. Is what? The Lord your God. He's the Lord your God. Come on. And none else. And what? And none else. So he's not the God of the so-called white man? And none else. Chinese man. And none else. Moab. And none else. Nobody else has a God. Right. You know, nobody else has a God, brother. The one true and living God is your God. Right. Right. Not nobody else. But see, this man right here, he ain't gonna tell you that. You know, you know what he's gonna say to you? I am God. I am your God, and I'm the God of everybody in the world. Bring it out. That's what he's gonna tell you in a little, in a little uh, 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 feminine voice, just like I said. I am a God. I am your God. That's what he's gonna say. But where did we get that? Where did we get this image? Is this God? How you know? What the Bible say? Yeah, like, Ooh. Where at? Because if, if, if you're telling me that, you know what you got to be able to do? You got to be able to prove that. Right, where does right. it say that at? Uh, where does it say? Is this man in the Bible? What's your name again? India. India. Is this man in the Bible? This this man right here. This man right here? Let's look at it. Let's look at it. This man right here is in the Bible? Who's that? Your grandma got that on her wall, don't you? Right, right? She got that on her wall? Is he in the Bible? You guess? Let's find out. Let's find out if this damn heathen, the prisoner, Yo. who took, who did this, what is sign that? Who did this to your people? Let's find out if this is, what do you call him? What's his name? Jesus. Let's find out if this is the image of Jesus in the Bible. This up. man that did this to your people. Read. Revelation chapter 1. Yes. Verse 1. Bring it out. The revelation of Jesus Christ. This is the revealing of Jesus Christ. The root word in Revelation is revealed. Right. Why does Christ have to be revealed? Why does Christ have to be revealed in these last days? You gotta fly before sis. You need to come on now. Oh, you, yeah. you, got some, you got some knowledge now. Oh, yeah. We waiting on you. Why does Christ have to be revealed? Why is this book called Revelations? This is the revealing of Christ because Christ knew that in these last days he will be portrayed as the so-called white man. Right. 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 That his image will be watered down and changed by another people. Second Corinthians chapter 11 verse 4. Bring it out. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus. So in these churches, they're teaching Christ, but what Christ are they teaching? This man right here. Right. This is the man that they have in their churches. This is the man that our parents have on their walls and our grandmothers have on their walls. Am I correct? Right. Read it again. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus. So if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, come on. Whom we have not preached. Whom our forefathers have not preached. Come on. Or if you receive another spirit. And if you receive, receive another spirit, because this man in them churches, they put certain spirits on you. They got people running around there, foaming out the mouth, falling on the floor, yeah. throwing sheets on them, and all kind of craziness. Right. That's another spirit, because that ain't in the Bible. Right. Come on. Which ye have not preached. Come on. Which ye have not received. Uh -huh. Or another gospel uh -huh. which ye have not accepted. Another gospel with this man, another gospel comes. You know what that gospel is? Everybody can be saved. Yo. You can be saved right now today. Let me dump you in the water. You'll be saved. 
If I dump you in the water right now, are you saved? You guess you yeah, you are not saved. Right. Because I could dump you in the water right now and you can walk down the street and get shot down by the police. Right now today. You're not saved because this is not your kingdom. Christ hasn't come to put us back in rulership. Right. You're only saved when you're in power. Right. Right. Read. Which ye have not accepted. It says what? We should not what? Which ye have not accepted. We should not accept this. Come on. Ye might well bear with him. Yeah, we're going to have to correct that. Matthew chapter 24, verse 24. Bring it out. For there shall arise false Christ. See that? There shall arise false Christ. Now, I'm giving you all of this, and we still got to get you the true image of Christ. It says that they're going to arise false Christ. Come on. And false prophets. And false prophets that's going to preach this false Christ. Come on. And shall shoot great signs and wonders. They're going to show you great signs and wonders. They're going to sit you down in a chair. They're going to they gonna talk to you before they do it, right? They're going to tell you when I touch you like that, I want you to just fall backwards. You're going you know. to you trick everybody in the church, and they're going to give us more money. They say, I'm going to take my towel, and I'm going to take my towel, and I'm going to wave across this whole front row. I want everybody to fall back. You know. going to do what? Show what? And shall show great signs and wonders. They're going to show you great signs and wonders. Like, it's amazing that they can do that. You're going to be amazed that they can wave their shirt or wave their coat around and knock all these people down and put the spirit on them. That is a lie. Come on. And so much that if it were possible. And so much that if it were possible. They shall deceive the very elect. They shall deceive the very elect. The elect are you, children of Israel. Right. Now give me Revelation. Let's go. Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. Let's find out what Christ really looks like. So you can go home and tell Grandmama, look, Grandma, you got a lie on your wall. Read. The revelation of Jesus Christ, Come on. which God gave unto him to shoot unto his servants. We're the servants of God. The Israelites are the servants of God. Come on. Things which must shortly come to pass. So he's going to show John things which must shortly come to pass. Come on, read down. And he said and signified it by his angel unto his servant John, uh -huh. who bear record. Who did what? Who bear record. How do you bear record? In ancient times, how did we bear record? I'm going I'm to I'm give you an example. In today's time, when a fight break out on the block, we bear record by pulling out our cell phone. World star! We record it with our phones, yeah. all right? So in ancient times, how did we bear record? We didn't have no phones. We had no tape recorders. How did we bear record then? We wrote it down. Right. So John is, John is revealing to you in Revelations what he wrote down. Come on. And bear record uh -huh. of the word of God Read on. and of the testimony of Jesus Christ. The testimony of who? Of Jesus Christ. Read on. And of all things uh -huh. that he saw. So all things that he saw with his two eyes is what he's about to show you. Jump down to verse 14. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Process of elimination. Read it again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Whoa. Does this man have white, woolly hair? Who on the earth has woolly hair? Get out. Get out. That brother right there got wool on his hair right now. Right. You got brothers out here that got wool on their hair right now. Right. Read it again. His head and his hair. The hair on his head and the hairs on his face. So it's talking about uh, a color and a texture. All right, his hair will be white in color, woolly in texture. Come on. And his hairs were white like wool, Come on. as white as snow. Come on. And his eyes, his eyes, We're talking about his eyes now. Let's look at his eyes. Come on. Where is a flame of fire? Is this guy eyes the, a flame of fire? Look, hey, this is a very popular picture right here. Look at that right there. Is his eyes red with fire? No, they blue. He's the damn devil the Bible speaks of. Come on. Right. And his feet. And his feet. Now I'm looking at your feet, sister. Now you got some brown feet. You got some brown skin. You got that skin like Christ. Right. Come on. And his feet uh -huh. like a divine brass. What color is brass? Brass is brown. But not only brown, it was it was what? And his feet like a divine brass. It was like a divine brass. Come on. As if they burned in a furnace. So that brass, the, 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 his feet that looked like brass was so brass, so brown, it looked like though it was burned in a furnace. So if you take brass and you burn it in a furnace, in a fire, what color is it turn? Black. 
Right. You can burn anything, guess what it's going to turn? Black. So, who the hell is this? Yo. Who in the hell is this? I know, bro. It's a long Where did you get this? How did this get into our minds? It came into our minds during slavery. Give me Mac, first Maccabees 343, I think. 48. Because this is what has happened. They've taken this Bible, they've taken this book, and they flipped it upside down. Right. All right. They made it fit the whole world and put themselves in a superior position. Right. right. They never told us that we're the Israelites. You know why? Because they know that their destruction is recorded right here. They've taken our history book and they painted all of the images white. Right. So that's why we think that that's Christ. You got kids? When you have kids, you better tell you better you get you, you, you it's a must that you teach them that Christ is a black man. Right, right. right. Read. First Maccabees, chapter 3, verse 48. Come on. And laid open the book of the law. What's the book of the law? Huh? The Bible is the book of the law. Right. right. So it says that they laid open the book of the law. Come on. Wherein the heathen. Wherein who? The heathen. Who are the heathens? People who what? People who are not of the children of Israel. Right. Every nation outside of the children of Israel are heathens. That's right. So the so-called white man, what is he? The so-called Chinese man, what is he? The so-called Arab man, what is he? Y'all learn it. Now y'all gotta start a plan. So let's read it from the top again. First Maccabees chapter 3, verse 48. Bring it out. They laid open the book of the law. They laid open our Bible, come on. Wherein the heathen uh -huh. has sought to paint the likeness of their images. They did what? Sought to paint the likeness of their images. So in our history books, what they did in the book of the law, they went in and painted their own images. That's why we have this image right here today that our people think is Christ. You know, Christ is a black man according to the Bible. That's he's right. from the tribe of Judah. Let me get that. He's from the tribe of Judah, the same tribe that you're from. That means the same blood that runs through Christ runs through who? Read. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14. Bring it up. For it is evident. It's what? For it is evident Come on. that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Came out of Judah. Come on. I wish tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. You see that? So never be fooled again. How you doing, brother? What's your name? Sir, Pat. Pat. So what we're teaching, uh, India and Emmanuel. Emmanuel. That's a righteous name, brother. A real righteous name. We're teaching them that look, we're not blacks, we're not Hispanics, we're not Native Indians, right? We're not African American. We are the chosen people of the book. Right. That's right. The reason that we're in this condition that we're in right now is because we broke God's laws. Right. He gave the laws to us. Right. And in order for us to get out of this condition, guess what's going to have to happen? We're going to have to go back to keeping the laws. Right. Now, we've had Malcolm X, Marcus Garvey, Martin Luther King. We've had the Black Panthers. We have all these different uh, organizations rise up um, in our communities to try to help us out of this condition. Were they successful? Were any of these groups successful? The Black Panthers were successful? Black Panthers got destroyed. You know. They got destroyed. Are we still in the same condition that we're, are we in a better condition or a worse condition today as we were when the Black Panthers were around? Better or worse? Better? Okay. So what happened to Trayvon Martin? You know. Huh? What happened to, uh, what's the brother that got choked out? Freddie Gray. What happened to Freddie Gray? What happened to Tamir Rice? Huh? Are we in a better condition or the same condition? If you, if if somebody that has on a shirt like yours right now rob a bank around the corner and you're walking down the street this way, but the but the kid the, the, the robber is long gone, what do you think gonna happen by the time you get to that stop sign down there and the police ride by here? Me? If you if you reach in your pocket or you reach like you're doing right now, what's gonna happen? Are you, are you in a better condition or, 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 or the same condition or worse? worse? We're in a worse condition right now because our children are on the heads of every corner being niggas. Right. Oh. We're, we're worse off now than then. Right. Remember, at one point we had, we had Black Wall Street. We had our own community where, we, where, where the dollar stayed in our community for longer than it does now. But we're sitting out here waiting on the bus, right? Are we getting on our bus or are we getting on their bus? No. 
Okay, so at one point we had our own bus. Right. Right. What happened to that? Are we in a better condition or worse? Worse. How do we get out of this condition? Give me Psalms chapter 19 and verse 7. Bring it up. How do we get out of this condition? Because we can lay down in the street, hold our hands up, we can march. None of that is going to get us out of this condition. The brother read it when he read it in Deuteronomy. And no man shall redeem you. Nobody is going to redeem us. Then I want Luke uh, 168. Read that, Psalms. Psalm chapter 19, verse 7. Come on, Bring it up. The law of the Lord is perfect. God gave the Israelites, black, Hispanics, and Native Indians a perfect law. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not steal. What's wrong with that? Something wrong with that? Well, guess what? If you put that them headphones down right now on that corner over there and go in the restroom, they won't be there when you get back. <laughs> I guarantee you that. They'll be gone. Read. The law of the Lord is perfect. The laws of, law of God are perfect. Converting the soul. Changing the soul. Come on. The testimony of the Lord is sure, Read. making wise the simple. So until we come back to these laws, nothing is going to change. We're going to stay in this condition, right? Because the brother brought out that, yeah, Marcus Garvey did what he did. He might have made it some type of impact from one way or another. Martin Luther King did what he did. Now we can teach on the street. You know what I'm saying? Malcolm X showed a great display of unity with brothers, but guess what? We're in the same damn condition. Right. That's right. There's only one savior. Malcolm X was not Christ. Martin Luther King was not Christ. Right. The only person that's going to get us out of this condition is Christ. That's right. right. And until we believe that, act on that, and apply the laws that have been given to us, we're going to be right here. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.